Hey, what's going on guys? It's Apollo One, and today we have for you a Hexa Chem Strike on Call of Duty Ghost, a pretty impressive gameplay. Now, I know some people don't really enjoy this kind of gameplay, because um, it is a little bit repetitive, I'm not going to lie, but if you think about it, you know, in Modern Warfare 3, the standards were a lot lower. Pentas are pretty much standard, because there's only been um, pretty much one Hexa. Uh, so, you know, it's basically still... Pentas are still standards, but in this game, because the games can last so long, like 25 plus minutes, you can neutralize flags and all that kind of stuff, and the spawn traps are so deadly, um, and literally, basically, you watch them spawn, basically, um, it's it's a lot easier to get a lot more chem strikes, so, you know, you're going to be seeing those septas, you're going to be seeing, probably in the future, um, constant octas, nanos, and decas, or whatever, uh, things are going to get crazy, and I, I can almost guarantee that, because it's honestly easy, it's pretty easy to do, um, it just depends on the lobby, if you get a really, really good miracle lobby, um, that's really, it all depends on, because the difference, and I know this is something also that's a hot topic that people are talking about, uh, is the difference between, you know, Blitz and this. And people say, oh, why does Blitz not count if it's the same thing as this? Uh, but it's not. And I'm going to explain that here real quick before I get into my topic, which is going to be Advanced Warfare. Now, first off, real quick, I do want to say I'm doing this commentary kind of late at night. So I'm not, I might sound a little bit quieter, a little bit different, more calm. I don't know. Uh, but just if you're wondering, I'm doing this kind of late at night, so I kind of have to be quiet. Now, the difference between Blitz and Domination and Spawn Traps in each uh, of those game modes is a lot different. So I'm going to use myself as an example. If I joined into a game, if I joined into a game where uh, a group of pub stompers were pub stomping and doing the free fall spawn trap, I would be able to get out of it. I would be able to completely ruin the gameplay, completely ruin the spawn trap because, well, first off, I do know the spawn trap, but also I'm... Um, uh, a good enough player, I'm not a really great player or anything, but I'm a good enough player, I'm capable of figuring out how to get out of it. I'd be able to either lay down and kill the guy that's doing the spawn trap, break out. Uh, I would be able to ruin it. You know, I wouldn't be able to win against the team or anything because the spawn trap's still lethal, but uh, I would be able to prevent that person from getting the gameplay. Now, if I joined into a game on uh, uh, Blitz on what's a deadly trap like leaning on free fall if someone was leaning on free fall or or leaning on sovereign or leaning on strike zone any of those blitz spawn traps there is absolutely no way i would ever get out of that spawn trap and as soon as i die or if i did get out for a second i would instantly die from someone else shooting me and i'd be back in that spawn trap there's no way uh i would be able to kill those people there's no way there's just absolutely no way no matter how good of a player you are you cannot get out of a blitz spawn trap and that's the difference the the, the difference is that in this kind of trap in the domination traps they have a chance they're just bad players so they can't do anything but they ha technically have a chance to get out they can still walk they can still move uh unlike in the blitz spawn trap you can't move you literally spawn die spawn die uh now may some may say that for this and that is the case for something, some other players. But like I said, if you're if you were a good enough player, you'd be able to get out of it, uh, and that's the difference. Now, like I said, I'm gonna move on to my topic. I'm gonna talk about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, that's gonna be my main topic. But real quick, I do want to say this gameplay is by Carnage Chain, and my God, Carnage Chain has been going off. He brought you guys the world's fastest chem strike in Call of Duty Ghost, and now he's bringing you. Well, he actually brought you some pentas in the past. Uh, he, he's gotten just countless amount of gameplays, and now you're seeing a Hexa from him, um, and you're going to be seeing, I, I promise, I guarantee, actually, that you're going to be seeing a lot more from him, so look forward to gameplays from him in the near future here on Carnage Clan, and also, go over to his channel and subscribe to him, he's posting over there, he's trying to, um, post consistently with commentaries, and, uh, if you like high standard gameplays, and, um, you know, that's the perfect place, is Carnage Chain's channel. So please go over to his channel and support him, guys. It would mean a lot to myself and uh, Carnage Chain as well. And like I said, his link will be down in the description. So today I kind of wanted to talk about Advanced Warfare. Now, I don't have too much time, and I'm going to say right now, leave in the comment section below if you want me to do a full-length commentary on it. Uh, and also, Carnage Ekali, he's going to be coming out with a few videos on information on advanced warfare now i know your sub boxes have probably been filled with information on advanced warfare but equali will put his own twist and opinions on it and uh, those videos will be good as well but basically um just not too long ago we got a uh a short 
well, actually, we got a campaign trailer for the Advanced Warfare um, game that's coming out in November. And at the end, they kind of gave us a little teaser of multiplayer and gave us about 10 seconds of footage. They first showed us this thing where um, the player is doing a back, uh, uh, back like jetpack move, and he goes, he like shoots up behind the guy that's chasing him, and then shoots him from behind. Uh, and then the second part was actually like a legitimate multiplayer screen where we got to see in the mini map the the whole HUD, and in the mini map we got to see that there was eight players, which could potentially be ground war, which I wouldn't be surprised. I that would be stupid if they didn't bring that back. Um, and we got to see that jetpacks are in multiplayer. We got to see one of the guns. We got to see the maps are pretty cool. We got to see, uh, well, I mean, not the maps, the graphics. We got to see the, um, uh, that there's a, uh, there's like things that are going to happen in the map that I, dynamics, whatever it's called, dynamic maps, um, with the whole wave thing, which I'm not a fan of. I think they should do without that kind of stuff, but whatever. Um, and yeah, it, it, you know, I, I'm not going to say anything now. I want, I want to know your opinions on what you've seen now. So basically, everything that you've seen, everything you know, as of now on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, what would you rate the game as of now? Like, don't speculate. Just from what you know now, what would you rate the game? Um, because I want to know, you know, in the future, after on actually August 11th when they release the Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal trailer, I'm going to ask the same question after that, and I want to see if people's opinions change. So um, let me know in the comment section below. Just rate Advanced Warfare. 1 out of 10, or 0 out of 10, or whatever, and let me know what you think of what you've seen as of now. Um, now, another thing is they did uh, show us, or tell us about a, a uh, um, in a premium pack that you can buy for $120 for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, you'll get this this assault rifle, I, call, I believe it's called the BAL, I could be mistaken, and also a uh, cool looking pistol, they have like this red, cool, atlas looking camo on it. Um, that's pretty cool. And also, they gave us a uh, map called Gorge, which is a remake of the map Pipeline from Call of Duty 4, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that will probably play well on um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare with the jetpacks and stuff. But anyways, guys, that's been my time. Rate Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in the comment section below. And if we could go for 700 likes on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Hopefully, you're having a great day, and I'll see you guys later.